I should do something with my life. And the reviews are in. Single player review reaction. First person type shooter. Well, I did only leave that third one up for an hour, so we're just gonna completely ignore that one. Basically, I've decided to make a new video. That's what this is all about. Now, I literally made this whole skit just for that. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Halo 3 for 30 hours was taking up way too much time, so... Why, why did I do that in such a deep voice? What is wrong? Mass Effect is a great video game franchise, and I'm serious when I say that. Coming from the literal certified Halo Reach addict, I was genuinely blown away about how much fun I had while playing this franchise. Now with that being said, I do plan on reviewing every single one of these games, but each one will have its own separate video, so this is the first one. And like Combat Evolved, the first one is the cornerstone of this franchise. A door to a universe far, far bigger than I first thought it would be when I first played this game. So come along and join me as I rant about my experience with this game and try to give an overall review over it. So why don't we start off with kind of a bit of a basic summary of how I found this game. I feel it's only natural I explain. Basically, the first time I ever got Game Pass, which was actually not that long ago, I remember I was kind of baffled at just how many games were at my disposal. Yeah, I mainly got it for Halo, and I mainly got it so I could start doing YouTube, but I noticed that there was a bunch of other games that seemed like they would be good and good to explore. So I started off by going by specific categories such as sci-fi and whatnot, and then I stumbled across Mass Effect. At first, I didn't know anything about this, except that it kind of played like Swartor, Star Wars The Old Republic, and that's really the only experience I've had with these kinds of games. So it just piqued my interest that much more, and so I downloaded it and went in completely blind. And honestly, I'd say that's probably the best way to experience any game, but especially games like this. Even after mentioning Swartor, I felt like for some reason this game was without a doubt the first time I really experienced a choose your own path. Probably honestly because I hadn't really finished any of the Swartor character lines up until this point. But I'll say, when you first hit play, and of course, you know, do the first customization options, because obviously I'm going to customize my characters, I'm not going with normal bland default John character. It's just an experience. A really, really great experience. So I mentioned a little bit about character customization at the beginning, and that is one of the key aspects of this game. Every single little detail that you edit on your character has an impact. From choosing different classes, different backstory traits, every single one of them has an impact. And not just for the game specifically. It carries on throughout the whole legacy. If, of course, you know, you're using the same character. And that just adds that nice little touch, that, that little chef's kiss at the end, if you will. Because when you first create a character, you really don't think too much of it. Yes, you had chose a specific class. Yes, you chose a specific backstory. But what makes Mass Effect so unique is that that story, your choices, carry on to the other games. And that just... That just blew my mind, I'll say it. But uh, anyways, back to the topic at hand. So, I mentioned earlier this is kind of a choose-your-own-play-style type game. And it is. Every single choice you have has an impact. I know. Choice having an impact is pretty shocking, but it does. You see, the way Mass Effect works is that there's this kind of reputation system. It's called the Paragon or Renegade. The first option, Paragon, is obviously the good one. You know, the happy, good ending, loyal person, that kind of thing. A renegade, on the other hand, well, does it really need any explanation? It's the bad stuff. You know, be a jerk, be a psychopath. <clears throat> Points if you get that reference. And that also helps add on to this world, is that you may make a small little choice and you may not think much of it, then you realize that that little choice had the biggest impact that you weren't even expecting. It's just great. It's beautiful. But I'm not just here to talk about character customizations. Now let's move on to something a little more different. A change of scenery, if you will.
Another huge aspect about Mass Effect is just how big it is. Every planet has something new, especially DLC missions, and those themselves just make the galaxy seem that much bigger. And it's awesome. I mean, seriously, compared to something like Starfield, what we have today, this game was clearly a step up. And again, I'll say it, each game from this point onwards just added more, made it more beautiful, more expansive, more just alive. It really is hard to find words to describe just how big this place is. I mean, even on planets that you go to for missions, they'll have side quests left, right, and center. Each one being very unique and, like I mentioned earlier, choices matter. So let's say you helped one random Samaritan, now all of a sudden, three games later, they're a war asset. Or let's say you went to a random planet that you have no idea about and helped solve a mystery on it. And now all of a sudden, that planet is now a station and a war asset. Uh, we'll understand war assets, what that means later on, but uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. And another thing to mention on top of that, each planet is just beautiful as a scenery, especially with the remasters. I mean, it is just glorious to see it, and the music of each planet just adds on to it and gives it that extra feeling, and it's honestly just so mesmerizing, so breathtaking. You know what? While we're on the topic of music, let's talk about it, shall we? As you just heard, Mass Effect has a beautiful soundtrack, and honestly, it still blows me away sometimes when I just randomly play on it, just how well it makes you feel like, hey, I'm in space. Even if there is a war going on, I'm in space. It's just great. And like I mentioned earlier, the way the music is in this game, it helps breathe life into it. I feel like for most games, that is the point of music. Music helps to either amp up a scene, like in an insane scene, it'll start, the tempo will start raising up and going very, 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 very fast. But when it's in more calm, collective scenes, it starts to slow down and really just help you experience what's going on, help you to understand the scenery, or sometimes understand how you're supposed to feel during a scene. So yeah, I feel like Mass Effect is just one of the greatest exceptions of that. Now that I've given you briefs on certain aspects to help assist the story, why don't we actually touch base on the story? The story of Mass Effect, or at least the beginning one, is pretty simple. You're Commander Shepard, an N7 for the Alliance. At first, all's going well. Then, when you reach Eden Prime to find a, quote, artifact, you find out that Geth exists. Are these robotic life forms that essentially just want to take over the world. It may seem like nothing until you realize that it's a lot deeper than that. Saren, one of the leads, one of the quote specters, which are essentially just like very, very, very valued people in the galaxy who are supposed to like be the protectors or something. I kind of forgot the description, so uh, forgive me, all the Mass Effect learners out there. I am not that well cultured. But basically, he turns and is assisting the Geth to help bring back something called the Reapers. Already, that should show you just how different Mass Effect is. It takes one simple concept, and, like I said, this game being the cornerstone of a franchise, introduces so many other things, and it's just amazing. And that's the point of a first installment of a series. It lays down the foundation of a whole franchise. And this one is very well executed. When you make choices in this game, I mentioned earlier the Paragon and Renegade system, well, those help define what ending you get. Regardless what side you choose, you do end up defeating Saren. But say you went full Paragon, as any normal human should, guess what? You can kind of get him to turn. You see, if you do like something neutral or a full-blown renegade, you have this first boss battle. But say you went full Paragon and went the persuasion path, you can completely remove that first boss fight and then immediately go for the end. I'm unaware if there's a renegade way to do this as well, but if there is, I just didn't care enough to search or find it. Well, 
this video is getting a bit long and I'm kind of running out of things to say, so let's roll that epilogue, shall we? I think it's only proper to say that Mass Effect is just simple and perfect. It introduces us to a new galaxy, and it's just the beginning. And honestly, I think it does a really good job at introduction. So yeah, that's my rant about this game. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, that's just on me, and uh, sorry that there's no more 30 hours of Halo 3. Uh, this PC is dying. Anyways, that's off topic. Uh, I really had fun making this video, I really did enjoy it, and I, I hope you guys did too. I'll be covering the other two games later, and uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. See you Spartans.